Happy days and gents, it's your girl Lini and welcome to Inner Beauty Out. And today I wanted to talk to you or bring to you a foundation review. I haven't done one of these in such a long time and it's definitely due. So, the foundation that we're going to be talking about today is by Urban Decay and it is their all nighter waterproof long wear liquid foundation and it looks like this. Yeah, I am absolutely in love with this foundation as far as the packaging goes. It is absolutely beautiful and different and definitely looks like something you would want to put on your nightstand, not nightstand, but like on your um, vanity and things of that nature. So um, I wouldn't mind packing this to go and not have to worry about anything happening. It is actually very, very stable, not stable, but very secure as far as the, the topping, the top. As far as the top goes, it definitely has two or three grooves um, around the actual edge of the top, which helps secure the cap in place. So you don't have to worry about it like opening up midway through travel or things of that nature. There is a pump on the inside. Well, it is a pump bottle. Um, and what happens is every time that you go or and pump it, it pushes the product up. So you're using every single bit of this product. Now, I haven't had this for very, very long as far as to finish a whole bottle and buy a new one, but I have loved the longevity of this thus far. Um, it has how many ounces? This has, has one fluid ounce, 30 milliliters in terms of the um, actual liquid of foundation that is in here. This is, which I've never actually done, oh my god. When I apply this, I never shake the foundation, but it says to shake well before you use it. Oh my gosh. But every time that I've done it, honest to God, like, my foundation has been absolutely flawless. It is waterproof, and it is... It is long wearing. It is very long wearing. I haven't seen any type of um, breakthrough in terms of my skin or oils coming through the foundation. Um, it may get, if you're an oily person, um, what I do see is that if it's like extremely humid. Hold on a minute. Go, Chloe. Go, go. Go down. Go. Go. A dog. Um. So if it's an extremely humid location or place, you will get like, um, I mean you'll sweat. It's not going to stop you from sweating, but your foundation will not budge in terms of that. So I thought, I one time I was literally like in church and um, I was up at the altar getting the glory, getting the praise, all that. Not getting it, but giving it. <laughs> giving the glory, giving the praise, and just in my zone. And it was really emotional, and I started crying. And I was like, yo. I don't know how many, how many other people feel this way, but like midway through, I was like, yo. If I start crying, my foundation is going to run. Like, <laughs> that sounds so bad. And not only that, like not just for crying like full on tears, but I just felt like because when you hold on to your tears for too long and it wells up, like, you know, it mounts up into the um, inner tear dark the inner tear ducts of your eye sometimes that foundation becomes it removes itself like because the water's just been literally sitting there so I have literally not it wasn't an, uh, an actual test to see if it was waterproof or not but it definitely held up to that um, if it were a test because when I came back um, home my foundation was like so well put I was on snapchat like the very next few minutes like I was on snapchat so um it definitely does hold well to water um I definitely would repurchase this again um so this is a part of their new line that they came out with um again this is called the all nighter I am in the shade number 11 which I absolutely thought was going to be too dark for me I thought I was probably gonna have to be a 10 just looking at the like bottle color um because I'm so yellow based and especially during the winter time I definitely like go even more yellow um, and I don't tend to match like my actual face color I tend to match what is my body or my neck in terms of my chest because obviously I would be darker and then lighter you know it just wouldn't work out so I um, got matched by an actual Urban Decay person or representative at um, Sephora so you can get this at your local Sephora or you can order online and I absolutely love the way this held out um, I also tried another new foundation it was the Estee Lauder um, double wear was it the double wear I'm lying it was not the du double wear it was the um, it was a Lancome foundation and I think I was spoiled by this one because I feel like this is definitely full coverage. If you want matte 
full coverage, no shine, this is your way to go because this foundation does not come on dewy at all whatsoever. This is the maddest of them all. The only reason I'm being oily right now, obviously there's a hot light on me, but I actually put, um, you know, highlights in particular areas where I want the, the glow to just you know glow <laughs> and we might have to glow up but no honestly like that's where I put it and that's why it's that way but for the most part this is like as matte as you'll get I've never seen anything else in the market even as like really matte in comparison to my pro long wear not my pro long wear my um L'Oreal matte and poreless so I will definitely do this. Um, it is said to not really matte, matte. If, um, in my application I decided not to wet my sponge because I didn't want to disturb whatever formulas was really in terms of this. So I didn't like completely dampen my sponge but I did wet it with some Fix Plus so that it was somewhat like um, wet but not like bring it damp if that makes sense. So just a little bit of that but for the most part that's what the representative told me to in the terms of how to apply it is not to like even if if you were to bring it bring your sponge your beauty blender underneath the water you will you have to towel dry it um you know as best as you can so that there's not a lot of moisture in the sponge because I feel like it might disturb the actual formula of the foundation so um for the most part I'm really enjoying using it it is everything I love the packaging it has its symbol all over here um and I love how Urban Decay is just absolutely fast in terms of their shipping um maybe because I'm really close to them I don't know but this is in this is coming from I don't know well it's made in France I know that but Oh, it's made in Canada. Sorry. It's made in Canada. But regardless of the fact, how quick their shipping is, is ridiculous. I'm not sure if they're, um, uh, they have an office or something, a supply center that is based out in New York. But I'm in New Jersey and the shipping on, uh, on any Urban Decay product that I've ever ordered since I've been, um, you know, trying out their things have been really, really spot on in terms of, like, shipping. So, um, if you haven't had yet tried it and you're an oily person like me who just, like, literally you can fry chicken on your face or whatever the case may be I would definitely try this out um, this only does go up to level 12 I'm not sure as far as the shade range go um, goes I'm not sure not sure how really deep it is I can probably insert something that shows you the shade ranges um, but for the most part this is me and I am what an NW45 in terms of a compact in the Studio Fix um, compact. I am a shade in between a 7.5 and a 6 in terms of the Match Master and I mix I mix a lot of my foundation so I'm not one shade so I don't know if that helps anyone but um you know I'm a very yellow based girl so if you are yellow toned you can get away with using this and then you know do what you got to do to make sure it all blends in with your highlight and contour and all that jazz but um if you if you're looking for a matte foundation I say try it or go to your local Sephora get a tester and see how you think about it or what you feel about it um and then make the purchase because it'll it'll last you a pretty long time so I hope you enjoyed this mini review I hope it was very helpful definitely leave a comment below if you've tried the foundation already um, and what your thoughts on it how you use it um, and what you if you've done the test and if it's held up for you so I'd love to hear your thoughts on it and I'll see you in my next video don't forget to thumbs up subscribe and share this video and I'll talk to you soon <laughs> bye